continue the dream. Houston now controlling the flight of Atlantis. The space shuttle spreads its wings one final time for the start of a sentimental journey into history. 24 seconds into the flight, road program complete. Atlantis now heads down, wings level on the proper alignment for its eight and a half minute ride to orbit. Four and a half million pounds of hardware and humans taking aim on the International Space Station. 40 seconds into the flight, the three liquid fuel main engines throttling back to 72% of rated performance in the bucket, reducing stress on the shuttle as it goes transonic for the final time. Engines now revving up, standing by for the throttle up call. already 16 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, one minute, 40 seconds into the flight. Atlantis flexing its muscles one final time. Atlantis traveling almost 2,600 miles an hour, 21 miles in altitude, 24 miles downrange, standing by for solid rocket booster separation. Booster officer confirms staging a good solid rocket booster separation. Guidance now converging. The main engine steering the shuttle on a pinpoint path to its preliminary orbit. Two minutes, 20 seconds into the flight. Atlantis already traveling 3,200 miles an hour, 35 miles in altitude, 50 miles downrange. The propulsion officer reports the orbital maneuvering system engines have ignited. Atlantis kicking on its afterburners for one minute, 23 seconds for the final phase of powered flight. Atlantis, two engine towel. You've been watching live the uh, final liftoff of the space shuttle Atlantis. It was about three minutes late in its blast off. There was some initial concern about bad weather. Initially, it was uh, there was concern NASA was going to have to call off the launch today for the final flight, but it did blast off just a few minutes late. We just saw the good solid rocket booster separation. That's always a critical moment. Two and a half minutes into the flight, four veteran astronauts on Atlantis. They're going to spend 12 days on this mission. They're carrying a year's worth of supplies to the International Space Station, and because only four astronauts are going, each will have a much heavier workload to deal with when they get to the International Space Station. And obviously we're watching back here, but about an estimated 750,000 people are in Cape Canaveral and the surrounding Florida towns watching this launch. About 45,000 guests have been cleared to watch the liftoff from the Kennedy Space Center. The VIP list includes members of Congress, uh, singers like uh, Gloria Estefan and Jimmy Buffett, and even Steve Wozniak, the co-founder of Apple. Yeah, and again, we want to mention, we're, we're looking at live pictures right now from a camera that is attached to the shuttle. We saw the rocket boosters separate as uh, it is getting closer to outer space. Now, after the mission, NASA will prepare Atlantis to be displayed. However, three engines performing perfectly. All right, that's some good news. A little word there that everything is going smoothly. Displayed in a museum at Kennedy Space Center, the fleet's other two spaceships, Discovery and Endeavor. We'll go to other museums. Endeavor actually will be here in California and Los Angeles. Discovery will go to D.C. The retirement of the shuttle is really in line with a plan drawn up years ago that called for NASA to stop spending money on shuttle flights and concentrate on developing spaceships to go beyond Earth orbit. And the hope really is that the private sector will take over a similar shuttle system, and that is something that potentially may be in the offing. And we have to point out, this camera shot may not look like much, but it's very important because that's where they look 
for paint peeling off, for anything that may endanger the uh, the shuttle and the return burning off if any spaces may pop up. So it doesn't look like a much beyond a static shot, but it's very important that they, they look for any possible damage. And this uh, flight is supposed to last 12 days. Uh, weather permitting, Atlantis will return to Kennedy, uh, where again it will be put on permanent display at a level. It was great to watch a good one. It was, yes. Yeah, so always exciting. I always kind of hold my breath a little bit, sure, cross my yeah. fingers, and uh, hope everything is going well. Again, four astronauts uh, heading there right now to the uh, International Space Station on the very final launch of the Space Shuttle Atlantis, ending a 30-year program uh, for the NASA space program. 15 miles downrange. All right, we will continue to follow this, and we have more on our website, ktbu.com, if you uh, want any more information on this uh, on this space shuttle. But again, we're going to be staying on this just to... Uh, Emphasize there was a lot of initial concern about the weather. There was a 70% chance of bad weather for the late morning launch. And there was only really a very small window that the shuttle would be able to uh, to blast off in order to uh, intersect and join up with the International Space Station in space. If they had not been able to launch within yeah. that window this morning, they would have waited until Saturday, possibly Sunday. And if not then, it might have been a, a, a few more days that, uh, that they would have had to delay the launch. But yeah. You looked at the right of your screen right there, the bottom right. They're watching from the Chabot Space and Science Center in Oakland, watching live with us. A great crowd of people there. KTBU's Claudine Wong is there, and the camera's panning around. You can see quite a few people, it turned out, uh, for that big screen view of, uh, of a terrific launch of uh, the Space Shuttle Atlantis. Yeah, it's it's a great theater. I've been there a couple times, being able to see some, some movies and uh, displays. So... We will be checking in with Claudine shortly for more reaction from the Space and Science uh, Chabot Center in Oakland. And again, live pictures on the left side of your screen of the uh, Space Shuttle Atlantis heading to the International Space Station. And this is the 33rd shuttle launch, I believe, 33rd mission for Atlantis and NASA's 135th flight that you watched live here blasting off from Florida. It is 8.36, and we're going to turn now to some other news this morning.